I'm Debbie Fish and I'm with Professional Learning at the Central Indiana Educational Service Center and I have a tip for you today that is a strategy for changing behavior, not just squelching it, but how to help your students actually do something different and use this as a moment for teaching, not just punishment. The name of this strategy is Stroke, Sting, Stroke. And I've been in education for 34 years. I've taught at many levels. I cannot remember, honestly, if I made this up or if I learned it somewhere. So it, I, I can't attribute it to anyone else. It might be something I made up, but um, it works. And that's what's important. So by the word stroke, what I mean is providing some positive feedback to a student. And then the sting is providing information um, about the negative behavior they are doing that you want to squelch. So you notice the stroke at the beginning and the end is kind of sandwiching the negative in the middle of it. So a few years ago I was teaching in a middle school and like every good middle school teacher when there's a change uh, in classes you go stand at your door and you watch the students going by. And I started noticing this one young woman who as she turned and came down the stairway, her arms were flailing, she was talking loud, she was uh, calling a lot of negative attention to herself and just being pretty obnoxious. And I watched it for a few days until one day I caught her eye and I kind of motioned for her to come over. I said, you know what, I've been noticing you for several days, weeks now, and when you come down that, that stairway every day, I look at you and notice you are one of the most mature looking young women in this middle school. Well, at that, she was kind of like, oh, hmm, that feels good. And then I did the sting and I said, however, I also notice that most of the time when you're coming down the stairs, you are loud and acting like a fool. And at that, she kind of backed up just a minute like, whoa, what was that? And then the stroke came. You know, I'm going to keep my eye on you because I believe that it won't take too long before your actions as you move around the school will be congruent with the young lady I see coming out of you with your potential. That's it. Stroke, sting, stroke. Now, I can't say it helped overnight, but every day I started catching her eye at different points as she came down the stairs. She started kind of looking for me, and if she was still acting like a fool, I did notice a change in her. What I was trying to do is build some self-awareness first of what it was that we wanted to change, what her negative behavior was, and then to try to give her a goal and someone that's going to look for that change. So it's pretty simple. In this instance, I did not even know her name, but it was developing a little relationship, and in using that strategy, I could start to see a change in her behavior. Now, if you want to hear more tips like this, you might check out the series that we have on teachindy.com and the information will be available so that you could sign up and hear more positive tips for changing your classroom with positive discipline and changing the atmosphere and culture.